Hello everyone, it's Mari here for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating a card today using this gorgeous stamp and coordinating die set. This set is called Simply Stated and it is beautiful. There are so many really lovely sentiments with this that absolutely cover almost every um, occasion that you might need a card for. I love that these little tiny sentiments fit into that little tag and then there's also sentiments that fit into that banner on the one floral as well. So really beautiful. And I'm gonna stamp these out with my Honey Bee Stamps Intense Black Ink onto some white cardstock here, just using my Mini Misty to stamp out both of these gorgeous images and I'm going to use my spectrum noir markers to color in these images. I'm starting off with the tri-blend marker in dark red and this is the type of marker from Spectrum Noir that has the bullet tip. They're super easy to color with because all three shades of your color are in one pen. So often what I'll do is I'll lay down the lightest color, then I'll go in with the darkest and add the shadow with the deepest, and then I'll go in with the medium, and then I'll blend the color out again with that lightest. And it's really, really super easy. So if you feel like you um, would like some markers, some alcohol markers that are really easy to use and really super economical to purchase. I highly recommend the Spectrum Noir markers. They are really fantastic. So again here you can just see with this whole flower I'm going over with the lightest color then I'll go with the darkest color on the opposite end. I'll just lay down the darkest area for shadows where I want the darkest and then I'll go to the medium color in the center of the marker and add a little bit to blend out that darkest color into the lightest and then I'll go to the lightest again and just add that lightest color to the tip and you can use whatever different type of technique you like for coloring your images but I this is really simple it's a really simple technique and it works every time so I really enjoy these markers I'm going to add a little bit of the citrus blend to the center and this is just a, a really pretty yellow and that's going to finish off that bloom I colored all of the other blooms in that stamp in that same way. And now I'm going to use a deep sea marker. This one is actually from a new, a new series of markers from Spectrum Noir. This one's a tri-color brush. And you'll notice that the three colors that are in this barrel are not all the same color family necessarily, which I think is really unique and interesting about this particular set of markers. And so I laid down the lightest color from this deep sea marker and then the darkest at the bottom of the leaf. Then I'm going in with the medium and then I'll just uh, blend those those colors out a little bit so that it, it just creates the most beautiful uh, blend on those leaves. I'm going to use jade green for my greens. And again, this is just back into the um, tricolor. Um, so this is, uh, or sorry, the tri-blend. So this is the black barreled ones. And so this type of pen has the same color. So it's all jade green, but there's the lightest, the medium tone and the darkest of that jade green. So here you can just see I'm adding this lightest color into all of the different little stem areas on the different blooms that I have here and so on. And then this is just a nice contrast with kind of that turquoisey blue that I have for the larger leaves. So this is just these are just for the little stem areas. I'm adding the lightest color in and I'll go in and add a little bit of the different shades as well. So just finishing up a little leaf area that I forgot with that um, with the tricolor brush in the deep sea. So really love how that's looking. I am going to also add a little bit of the blue turquoise in the tri-blend. And you'll just see me here starting off with the lightest for these little, they look like kind of little berries or something. And so I'm going to add just the lightest and then I'll go in with the darkest at the very bottom part of the berry and then blend that with a little bit of the medium. And in some instances here, I actually don't even go back in with the lightest color at the end to blend it out. I just leave it like that and I can color these images in no time at all. It doesn't take much time. And I'm, you know, coloring is not my necessarily my strong suit as a card maker, uh, but I love to color and but I don't want to spend hours coloring an image. So I will say that these Spectrum Noir markers do really help with speeding things up. This is the gold brown tri-blend. So you can see it's the black barrel again. So all of the colors in that barrel are the, from the same color. 
And this is the, this is, I think this is one of my favorite colors from that tri-color brush set. This is warm and fiery. So I'm moving on to the second stamped image here from the Simply Stated set. I'm going to go in with the, the orangey color, the lightest color from the Warm and Fiery and color the whole bloom with that color. Then I'll go in with the bright pink and put in some shadows. And I love orange and pink together. So this pen is just so beautiful. It just creates the most gorgeous pink and orange color um, combo. So I'm just laying in those darkest areas just kind of like where the lines meet together on the flower and and then I'll go in and add a little bit of that medium color the center color and just kind of blend out that dark pink and then I'll go in with the lightest and blend that all out and it just creates a really really pretty little flower so hopefully you can see this okay I'm not zoomed in super well here but hopefully you can see what I'm doing here and now I'm going to go in with the deep sea again. And I use this one on the leaves on the, um, the image on the left there. I'm going to use this color on these blooms. And this is going to just be so pretty when it's finished. Going in with that really pretty light teal. And then going in with the darker one to add in the shadow areas. And I love the brush tips on these pens too. They're so lovely to work with. There's the medium and then just finish off with that lightest just to blend those out a little bit. And I'll color up three of the blooms with that and then you can see the three with the Warm and Fiery. And I'm using the Citrus Green from the Tri Blend to add in some of my greens here. So I'm just gonna go in with the lightest and add in some a few dark shades here and there. Just doing some really quick and easy coloring. Now the coloring's all finished. I'm going to go in and add some sentiments to these different images here. So I'm going to add uh, happy birthday and um, I think I put hello maybe on the other one but all of these sentiments are part of the Simply Stated set and like I said the different sentiments in that set I'm just going to look at it here. They're so good. Um, you bring me joy to a special friend. Mr. and Mrs. Congratulations. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Missing you. Love you. Sending love. Hello my friend. Best wishes and big hugs. Uh, way to go. And then the small ones are friend. Hello for you. Hugs. Happy birthday to you. Enjoy. Love you. And I love you and a little heart. There's a few heart stamps in that set as well. So really gorgeous. Love how this turned out so much. And the Simply Stated set is just a really fun set. And you can see that it didn't take me much time at all to color up these images. Now I'm going to take the coordinating dies from Simply Stated. These are sold separately. And I'm going to just uh, add those onto the colored images here and just take my easy C tape and tape those down and run that through my die cutting machine to create the uh, the sort of like the focal point for my card here. I'm not going to make two cards. I'm going to just choose one of these um, different floral pieces here for my card front, but I did want to just show you coloring both of them and I will be able to make another card with the one that I don't use here. So just going to take my time and make sure that I line this up carefully and then just take my easy C tape and tape that down and get that die cut in that way. So really love the easy C tape too because it doesn't um, damage your paper in any way when you run it through your die cutting machine. So that is fun and that is also sold in the honeybee shop so make sure you check it out. I'm going to use the lunar paste and slippery when wet. I love this stuff. It is beautiful. I'm going to use the damask or damask stencil. I'm going to just run the lunar paste over top of this stencil here with my palette knife and you can see that I'm working on my be creative mat here just because it cleans up so nicely and I am just going to create this most beautiful background with this slippery when wet using this stencil here and that is going to be my card front for the base of my project today. So I will just get that all covered in and I will um, show you the peel reveal here then I'll set that aside and let that dry before I go ahead and finish working with the rest of my card here. So uh, the Lunar Paste from Simon Hurley is amazing. If you have never used it, it is fantastic. And it is also sold in the Honey Bee Shop. So that's all dry now. I'm just going to grab my Honey Bee um, liquid adhesive here. 
and I'm going to add that to the back of my card and just get that onto an A2 size top folding card base. And I'll just make sure that I have that on there nice and centered. And go ahead and get onto the next step here. I'm gonna be using these gorgeous opulent layering frames. I'm gonna use one of the larger ones from the set. I've die cut that from some white cardstock and I've added some foam adhesive onto the back. And I'm going to use this as the home for that lovely colored image that I created. By the way, I did wanna mention that the Honeybee Stamps uh, Intense Black Ink is alcohol ink friendly. So if you're using an alcohol um, ink marker, you can definitely use the Honey Bee, Bee Creative ink. It's a really great ink in that way. And I'm going to just get this opulent frame adhered down to that paste, that lunar paste. And now I'm just kind of auditioning both of those. They both would look great on this card front. I really love them both. I'm going to choose this one here and I'm just going to put a little bit of foam adhesive. These are the um, half inch circles. These foam in uh, half inch circle adhesive are, they have a tab on the back and they are sold in the honeybee shop. So you just take those tabs off and the release paper removes very easily off the back. I'm just going to center that onto that opulent frame and then I'm going to grab some of the Happy Heart Pearl stickers. Uh, just in that really really pretty light blue color and I'm going to grab my pen blade here and just add some of these onto my project just for a little bit of extra pizzazz and that is going to almost finish off my card. I think I'm also going to add just a little bit of white gel pen to some of the different areas when I'm finished adding these pearl stickers on. I did link up friends to all of the different products that I used for my project today in the description box below. If you click on those links, it will take you right to the Honeybee shop where you can find these different products that I've used for my project today. So this white gel pen is just gonna add a little bit of a highlight here and there. And I'm just adding just little dots of white and it just adds that little bit of extra. Um, you wouldn't have to do this, but I do like how it looks. And so I'm just gonna do that as a little bit of a finishing touch. I think off camera, I also added some stickles, some gold stickles to some of the centers of the flowers, just to add that little bit of extra sparkle and shine. And you should be able to see that in the still shots of this project in social media. So just finishing that last little step up. And it sometimes is all of these, just these little bits that you do um, for details that really make the difference with your project. So the little white dots, the little bits of stickles, uh, the little pearl stickers, all of these little things, these little extras that you add, I feel like they just add those little beautiful details to your project that make it just look a little bit more extra. So I really love how this turned out today. I had a lot of fun working with the Simply Stated stamp and coordinating die set and that damask stencil is just so beautiful. I love it so much. Friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Have an amazing day and I'll see you again next Friday. Bye-bye.